So I'll be giving you a Muay Thai hotel tour here on Fitness Street in this video. I'm staying here for four nights, 20 US dollars a night. I'm gonna give you the full tour of this place coming up after the intro. Oh. Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to the Fitness Street series. It is uh, season three, episode two, day two of my trip here on Fitness Street. It is uh, 7.55 in the morning. I'm super jet lagged. I'll just put that out there straight away. I look very tired. I feel tired. Uh, I'm emotionally exhausted as well. I'm not gonna talk about the personal reasons. It doesn't really matter uh, to anyone watching. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very, very jet lagged. So I thought I'd use the opportunity to make a quick review video or a walking tour video of the place I'm staying at for four nights. It's called Marina House Muay Thai. And uh, it is on Fitness Street, or at least a side street to Fitness Street. I'm only staying here for four nights because uh, I just wanted to make this video and see what this place is all about. It's only been here for six months. And last time I was here on Fitness Street, two and a half years ago, it wasn't around but uh, I saw this on booking.com and I was like, oh, this looks pretty interesting. There's a swimming pool. It's 20 US dollars a night. You can't go wrong with 20 bucks a night. Uh, and I'll just book for four nights. And if it's shit, I'll never come back again. It's simple as that. So I might save you 20 bucks a night if you decide you, you watch this video and you don't want to stay here. So I'm in my room right now. Um, I'm staying in a standard room, so nothing fancy. It's the cheapest room on booking.com because it's raining outside. We're going into the wet season here in Thailand, in Phuket specifically. Um, and it, I should mention real quick that the wet season will not, some people get really worried about the wet season and how it's gonna affect their training uh, experience on Fitness Street. To be honest with you, it will not ch change your training experience. I've trained in wet seasons here in the past, back in 2017. It's completely fine. It just means that your accommodation options or you have more options for accommodation. There's less of a need to pre-book in advance. Things are slightly cheaper. There's fewer people around. So there's a, there are obvious benefits to coming here in the off season. Quality of the training is, is perfectly fine. You know, come, just come here. Uh, unless you just want to sit on a beach for six days a week and I'm sure most people watching this are not coming to Fitness Street to do that. So come. But uh, I'll jump straight into the actual review itself. So I'm inside because it's raining outside. So what I'm going to do as I'm talking, I'm going to show you some footage over the top of this, my, my dialogue here. Uh, footage that I've shot on my phone. So you get to see the quality of the Samsung phone. So I'll give you my first impression starting from outside the building. So when I rolled up here and, you know, I looked at the building from the outside and this is a great thing about not being paid or sponsored to make these videos. I can pretty much just tell you exactly what was on my mind without any kind of pressure of I'm being paid. I need to paint a narrative a certain way. So looking at this building on the outside looked like a bit of a hospital, actually a hospital, kind of a government building didn't look like a res doesn't look like a resort on the outside um, but anyway you know I'll, I'll just run with it I walked in through the front door uh, up to reception and looking around I looked around in the interior and my first impression was this feels like a modern day prison I don't know why I that was the first thing I thought of it sounds like a really negative thing but it's just my first impression I'm like this feels like a I actually thought about Alcatraz for some reason the little island off San Francisco I went to years ago, but then yeah, no people around, super dark, it just like, yeah, weird. And then I noticed that they got this random furniture and like two bits of gym equipment in a random corner of one of the main foyer areas. Like it seems a bit weird to see a treadmill and two dumbbells just sitting there. It's not a gym. And then they got like a chair and a lamp and it just seems like it's unfinished. So then I checked in, came into my room, but then it was really nice in here. Uh, I walked in through the door, checked out the bathroom. It is extremely clean for 20 US dollars a night. 
you really can't complain. The cleanliness, the bed sheets, the bed, uh, like, I mean, it's not a plush pillow top mattress, but this kind of mattress is equivalent to what you would find in any standard hotel. Um, no bed bugs, very, very clean, very tidy. And what I like actually, and I, I know this seems weird, but if you're coming to Fitness Street to train, uh, having a drying rack like this is actually, I know this seems really simple, but it's great to dry your wraps and your underwear <laughs> and your Muay Thai shorts because you're going to sweat in your training sessions. You're going to have to dry that stuff out before your next training session. It's putting on wet wraps. It just doesn't feel good, but you know, having a drying rack like this is a big bonus. Again, you might think that's a ridiculous thing to point out, but this, that, that is important. Um, my bed's not made. They're going to come and do housekeeping in just a second. But um, the rooms, I believe, have these kinds of picture frames of like Muay Thai fighters and things like that. So they've themed the hotel for the fitness enthusiasts, specifically for Muay Thai enthusiasts. So when you go downstairs into the foyer, there's like a mural of like two guys fighting. They have all these like Bruce Lee sayings on the walls and things like that. So it's cool. They've tried to cater for guys like you, myself, that are into this kind of training experience and they're, they're targeting us, right? So it's a nice, it's a nice little touch. So I've got on my list here, it's cheap, clean, no bed bugs, close to everything on Fitness Street. So in terms of being close to everything on Fitness Street, it is literally a seven minute walk to Tiger Muay Thai, probably about a 10 to 15 minute walk to Phuket Top Team down the other end, a three minute walk to Dragon Muay Thai. Uh, it's close, like, walking distance within 10 15 minutes you can get to everywhere you need on fitness street so that's a big bonus it's super cheap clean close to everything on fitness street it is six months old that explains why everything is so clean uh it's got wi-fi it's important i have a sim card on my phone which i highly recommend you get if you're coming here for a month or more or even two or three weeks to just get a local sim card uh, it's about 600 baht, but I'll talk about that later. Otherwise, you got the short tour of Marina House, Muay Thai, here on Fitness Street. So let me know if you're coming to Fitness Street. Uh, let me know in the comments below when you're coming here. And if you're already here and you're watching this video and you want to meet up, I'm floating around the area. I actually don't really have any firm plans uh, any more than a couple of days in advance. So I'm always around, just, just have a chat, let's go. But um, yeah, it'd be good to meet some of you guys. I already met some of you guys yesterday when I got in. Um, so met a couple of guys from uh, Liverpool, two guys from Liverpool, if you're watching this, hope your training's going well. Uh, met a guy, Wasib, sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, I can't remember where you said you were from. You were training at Dragon, I believe. There's another guy from Germany training at Dragon I bumped into, so I hope your training's going well. Uh, yeah, I've bumped into a few people already, so I apologize. I can't remember everyone's names and where you're all from, but it's really good to, to, to meet, to finally meet you guys, you know, like I'd never expected this would ever happen to just make a, what it started was a couple of videos on my phone back in 2017, just messing around on my phone and then now making these videos more seriously. So yeah, it's good. I'd be, it'd be, be fun to meet more of you guys. Just send me a message and um, yeah, or just if you see me on the street, just say hi. Yeah, it'd be good fun. And uh, yeah, so before I go, lastly, I will, yeah, just quickly mention, I mentioned this before, Facebook group, Fitness Street Community. Go and uh, join the group and introduce yourself. Um, ask your questions in there. There's so many helpful people in there. They'll help you you know, with any questions you've got. There's a couple of OG guys in there that have been around for years and years, uh, longer than me, and uh, we'll, we'll definitely help you out. So don't be shy, just introduce yourself. Uh, the Fitness Street Facebook community down below. I also got a Fitness Street travel guide I put together uh, and a travel guide video, which is super comprehensive. I will link up the, tr the travel guide video for Fitness Street as well. So it is Sunday. And there's no training on Sundays. At least 95% of things around here are closed uh, on Sundays. So guys either go to Patong, go to the beach, or like hire a scooter and they go to the beach, or they just chill. Um, there's a few people that still train, you know, not many, like 
5%, like a very small number, but I'm not training today. I haven't trained yet. I've only been here for two days. I start tomorrow. So I'll give you a day in the life of my, uh, what, what my typical training will look like. So stick around for the next video, episode three, where I'll be doing some training, doing a private class at Dragon Muay Thai and a private class at Tiger Muay Thai. So I'm going back to Tiger just to taste it, have been there for years. Just, I know a few people ask me about it. So I'm gonna go back there and, and that's it. So see you in episode three.